With the clock ticking fast ahead of the Ryder Cup, Tyrrell Hatton is looking forward to teeing it up as one of Team Europe's five rookies. The Englishman has backed up his sensational end to the 2017 season with another solid year, including a third place finish in Dubai and a tied sixth at the US Open. Around this time last year, he defended his Dunhill Lynx title in fine style, before powering his way to a first Rolex Series triumph at the Italian Open. But of course, there's no I in team. With golf, it's kind of normally an individual sport, so to be involved in a team event um, is pretty unique. So now it's kind of like the pinnacle for, for any European player to, to be in that team. I haven't been to any, obviously watched, watched it on TV a lot. Um, kind of, I'd say my earliest sort of memory, I guess, is maybe um, Paul McGinley holding the putt on, on the 18th at the Belfry. So that's a pretty iconic moment there. Let's hold it. Europe have won back the Ryder Cup. Paul McGinley from Dublin has got the half point that was needed. Another European Ryder Cup captain and legend, Colin Montgomery, also perhaps holds the key to Hatton's infatuation with the event. I got to meet him in the, in the Callaway truck. It was here at Wentworth um, when, I was, uh, when I was a little kid, so obviously that was a pretty special moment and that was kind of when he was in his prime, so um, obviously I was in, in awe of him at that moment and um, obviously followed him since. Early in 2018, Tyrrell got a taste of team competition when he teed it up at the Eurasia Cup in Malaysia. He thrived, demonstrating a real affinity for the match play format. I loved the Eurasia Cup. It was great to be involved in a team event. And it was just good fun, you know, once, once the golf had been done for the day, um, back in the team room having a laugh, messing about on PlayStation and table tennis and just sort of generally having a good time with the whole team. It's always good fun playing in front of a big crowd. It's got a, a good atmosphere to it. And it's obviously more rewarding when you hit good shots, um, bigger roars and stuff, which is always nice. Personally, I was really happy with going 3-0, and which is, um, you know, as like I said, really happy with that. So it kind of gave me a bit of confidence going into the start of the season, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. His team outing also offered the perfect chance to experience firsthand Thomas Bjorn's leadership style. He was really good, obviously spoke to him a little bit throughout the week and, um, you know, sat us all down and individually and told us who we were going to be paired with for the foursomes and the, and the four balls. Um, and sort of gave his reasoning why. In Malaysia, Hatton was paired with a fellow Englishman, and Paul Case's confirmation as one of Captain Bjorn's picks opens the door to this partnership being reunited again in Paris. It was good to play with Paul on the second day in the foursomes. Um, obviously, so much experience, and you know we had a good chat in the in the locker room afterwards. Um, sort of some some tips on where um, I could potentially improve later in the year from there which was really good of him. Tyrrell has experience of playing Le Golf National on the European Tour, but this month's visit, well, it will be a whole new ball game. I think it'll be a good atmosphere in, in Paris this year. Um, the golf course is perfect, I think, for a Ryder Cup. It's, got the, it's great for spectators, even if it's 10, 12 deep, you know, with the, with the banking either side of the fairways, you're gonna get a good view. So I imagine it'll be pretty loud. Enjoying a great atmosphere is all very well, but how much sweeter it would be if Tyrrell can play a part in reclaiming the Samuel Ryder Trophy with Team Europe. Yeah, obviously it'd be an incredible moment, it'd be a dream come true as well. Like I said earlier, it's sort of the I'd say it's the pinnacle for, for any European golfer and, and any guy from the from the States to, to be in a Ryder Cup team and even better to be in a winning one.